Right, guys. So, um, last time we talked about the jitter. Um, is the shape dynamic, and um, if you change the size jitter, it will yeah just that uh, increase and decrease the size. Okay. So previously, if you um, turn the size jitter to zero, you will just uh, follow your pen pressure's instruction. But what if you change it? So yeah, the thinnest particles are. Uh, Got bigger and the biggest particles are even bigger, okay. And um, not the biggest part get bigger, but the the, um, the middle part get bigger, okay. And of course, you can change the minimum diameter to make the thinnest part bigger, okay. So, pretty self explanatory. But what about uh, angle jitter? So, the angle jitter is pretty, pretty interesting. And sometimes you may find, if, for example, if you say using this to draw. And you adjust the angle jitter, you will see that nothing changes. Okay, and uh, that is not the case. Absolutely not the case. Um, the reason for it is that um, you are using your wrong brush, um, because you are using the brush that cannot um, uh, affect be affected by this angle jitter. Okay, so the default angle jitter is uh, um, zero. And what if you change the brush? Okay, and I think. Um, we got a um, say um, yeah let me change a brush to like an effect maybe change the tip of the brush okay um, say oh, I got this um, okay chalk 2 okay so if I get a chalk 2 brush and uh, I increase the size so you guys can change, uh, can see it more clearly and zoom it a little bit. Okay, so previously, um, if I just yeah go down, it will be something like this. And I think we yeah already turn on the jitter. Okay, so shape dynamic. Let me just uh, turn it off. Okay, so. If I go down, go down, go down, it will be exactly the same pretty thick line. So what if I draw left to right? It become pretty thin. Okay. So um um for example, if you change the uh, the size of it, it will become more dramatic. Okay. So this will be pretty pretty thin, and if you drop up and down, it will be pretty, yeah big line here but left to right will be on pretty thin and um, for example if I want to change that to left and right still be this uh, big how to do that we can turn on shape dynamic okay and size jitter is zero so it won't jitter as much um, minimum diameter won't jitter but angle jitter we can adjust that um, according to the direction so which means that we can make every direction this thing and if you adjust the brush tip shape to a pretty thick one and left and right up and down will be pretty thin okay so um yeah, that's a pretty good way to adjust um, the um, not so round shaped brush so you can get the, yeah, even you do it not the up and down, left and right direction, you can still get a uniformed performance rather than just, uh, yeah, so different angle, you can still get a different, uh, the same performance without any changes um, because you change the direction of it so and of course you can toggle it down so it won't be affected so yeah this is a thinker and this is a thing okay so it won't be affected so if you turn it on and off you can toggle okay you can toggle and um, which means that you combine these two together and it, this effect will apply to this uh, brush tip shape, okay?